What's up guys, today I will be doing a new video for ya, based on To All The Boys I've Loved Before. Now this one's sort of a guilty pleasure of mine, I really enjoyed it. I'm not even afraid to say it, because it was a pretty good movie. If you have, haven't seen it on Netflix, definitely check it out. Uh, the great thing about this movie is, well from my end, is that it's only filmed at primarily three or four different places, so it was really easy to uh, record it. Not so easy finding these locations. But uh, definitely uh, some pretty neat ones. So if you've not checked out Tall Boys I Loved Before, definitely check it out. It's on Netflix. It's Netflix original. And it just came out this year. Great movie. So I'm in front of what would have been the uh, cafe that Laura Jean met up with uh, Peter. And uh, she also met up with her dad and, and had, a, had a meal at this uh, cafe. So there were two big scenes in the movie where the, this uh, cafe was shot at. And uh, let's have a look here. Okay, so this is one side of where the corner cafe would have been. And uh, in this window here, there would actually have been the corner cafe. Uh, and uh, along the uh, white, uh, sorry, in here would have been a cafe open sign. And uh, on this white wall here would have been where Laura Jean parked her bike. This green canopy would have been would have said Corner Cafe. And uh, there was also a uh, bench here, uh, light post. Uh, sorry, the traffic lights still remain the same. But uh, let's actually have a closer look at. It. Okay, so this is actually very interesting. This is the front of the Corner Cafe, and I do want to show you one thing that they changed. They actually moved this uh, cafe open sign, if you can see that, from the other side to around here in the front. Now all the writing and uh, uh, decorations would have been removed off the windows here. So this is where the um, front door would have been in the movie. In the movie it actually looks like it's more of a green color rather than a red. However, let's still get closer. Okay, so where I was from the other side of the street, you can actually briefly see in the background this, uh, I'd say blue and white uh, building behind the backs of uh, Laura Jean and Peter when they were talking. This building's still there and it looks very much the same like it did in the film. Now, uh, on the inside of the diner itself, it does look the same, so Yeah, it's actually closed right now, but you can see that the floor pattern of the white and uh, brown tiles is the same, as well as these wood tables. Uh, let's see if I can spot anything else here. The, um, sorry, let me just reduce the glare. The uh, yellow and the blue panels at the back, behind the bar counter, those were the same. around the other side okay so here on the other side uh, you can see a different angle of what the diner would have looked like this is where she had important talks about life boys and just everything going on with her school with her dad and with Peter in this very cafe Okay, so now I'm in the parking lot where Laura Jean and her sister were talking and kind of having that fun argument about uh, Laura Jean's driving. So the car would have been about right here. And you can see that there's this door in the background. It looks like a castle, this high school, I tell ya. But uh, that's definitely the door because you can see the uh, two uh, interesting light fixtures on either side. Okay, and uh, Laura Jean would have been having talks with Peter as well as Peter ex Peter's ex-girlfriend. And uh, you can see in the background the steps and this uh, uh, doorway up at the top level there. And as well as uh, when Peter was talking to her, you can see some of these yellow uh, posts in the background. And uh, there would have been the bus parked 
about right here. If you remember after the uh, sorry, the ski trip, when they come back from the ski trip, that's where they would have parked. And uh, she would have been, I know that was white in the background, so she would have been right here, because there's white, these white windows on the left of her and the uh, clean windows on the right of her. So this is where the bus would have been parked right after the ski trip. The school, I tell you. This is the table that Laura Jean and uh, Peter were going over the ground rules about faking their relationship, if you remember this scene here. So, they would have been talking at this table right here. You can even see the uh, tree in the background here and uh, Peter would have been standing on this side. Sorry. Peter would have been standing on this side. And you can see uh, stairs and uh, the building in the background here. So after Lord Jean and Peter kiss, there's a witness and it's Josh and he comes right down these steps, exactly right about here. Okay, remember the couple of field scenes where Lord Jean wants to talk to Peter? This is actually the net they used. It's chained to the fence right now so can't grab it but they would have been over here. So, Laura Jean would have been walking this way with that uh, school in the background behind her towards Peter's. And his net would have been somewhere. Actually, no, let me get in center field here. More closer to center field, but you can definitely see this building in the back, and it would have been that orange across net right there. Okay, so if any of you were wondering where, why I couldn't get a sh good shot of the bleachers, it's because they've actually been removed. Now this is a scene, uh, uh, this is an angle from where they would have shot, uh, where they're running in P class, but the bleachers would have actually been right about here. They're non-existent, they were made simply for the film, and they've been since removed off this gravel field. All right, now the moment you've been waiting for, we are going to see Laura Jean's house. And uh, in actuality, Laura Jean is in fact, uh, the house that they used for Laura Jean's house is actually right beside uh, Josh Sanderson's house. So it works out very well here. So let's take a look. So this is the house that they would have used. Now this is where, uh, this is where Peter would have dropped her off. The house looks pretty much identical. You can see that there's the uh, white pillars, the doors, everything. For her house is Josh Sanderson's house. Right here. Taking Laura Jean home. So many of the scenes, she was riding her bike right in front of the house, and this is right where uh, Peter would have pulled up right here to drop her off. Josh's house is just past it. Thanks for watching my video. If you want to see more great stuff, please subscribe below.